G'day, Barry from Superior Etchworks here. Today I'm going to be making a Ned Kelly pawn for a forge chess set. I took up blacksmithing to make handles for my cutting boards and serving platters. While learning about it, I came across Thack Ironworks and fell in love with sculptural blacksmithing. The first thing that I made was this Ned Kelly helmet bottle opener. When Thack asked for people to make pawns for his 2020 chess set challenge, I commented that I could do a Ned Kelly helmet without realising that he wanted critters. Thack thought that Ned was a bit of a beast, so he allowed it. There are links in the description to Thack's chess set challenge videos. Please join me in the workshop to see me making this Ned Kelly pawn. Using scaled reference images from the internet, I'm laying out the marking lines for uh, Ned's uh, uh, helmet features. I've marked out some reference lines for the uh, slit in the visor and um, I've later on I will have forgotten that they're only reference lines and this is something you need to be really aware of when you're laying out uh, these sculptures. Here I'm chiseling in all of the uh, marking lines and you can see where I've forgotten that that was merely a reference line and I'm chiseling it in which will lead to errors further on. I have to apologise for the uh, wild nature of the focusing on this. The uh, autofocus on the camera kept wanting to uh, focus all over the shop and I wasn't realising it while I was sh uh, shooting the video. I made this uh, small acute angled butcher tool from uh, a, a used coil spring. Uh, it's very, very handy for uh, doing this kind of work. I'm butchering all of the uh, marked lines to uh, uh, give all of the components of the helmet uh, greater definition. Uh, around the bottom of the uh, helmet I'll be uh, butchering that in very very deeply. You can see here how that error compounds. I'm butchering it in, still having forgotten that it was only a reference line. These sculptural projects require that you uh, manage your heat um, 
as, as well as possible to maintain the efficiency. While it's uh, bright orange, you can uh, do your really, really deep um, forging, and as it cools off, you can uh, do planishing and tidying up work. Here you can see me uh, separating off with a chisel the lower part of the uh, helmet that covers the throat. Eventually that'll become a flat fronted uh, sort of apron. I'm trying here to draw out some of the uh, sides of the uh, apron area. They keep um, upsetting in on themselves and uh, giving me something that uh, will not end up wide enough. You can see this small square planishing tool that I made just to help with uh, pushing everything into shape and giving a, a smoother result. Sorry about the bad camera angle in this section. This is where I'm actually correcting that uh, error and forging in the true details in that, that are supposed to be on that left side of the helmet. There are three bolts that uh, hold the uh, original helmet together and in this section I'm uh, just adding some material into some uh, drill holes to uh, give myself uh, something to shape those bolts from. Once I had added the material, I uh, shaped the bolts hot. Using a setter punch, I'm adding now the bolt, uh, the bullet dents, and the little holes where the padding that uh, stopped him from uh, being seriously injured by the helmet itself uh, in place. Watching this I'm surprised how much the anvil moves around. Uh, I don't notice it while I'm forging.
overall I'm pretty happy with it. I would have liked the transition uh, from the apron to the helmet to have been smoother and for the apron section to have been a little bit wider. But I've only been forging for about a year so I've got to be pretty happy with something that looks like this. There's a link in the description to Thack's 2020 Chess Set Challenge video playlist. Uh, please watch them and thanks again for watching this. Please uh, like uh, if, if you liked it and subscribe if you'd like to see more of this kind of content.